Nah, comparison is a serious thing. It's, it's very serious. Aren't you guys so glad that the sun doesn't get jealous of the moon? Aren't you guys glad that the moon doesn't try to outshine the sun? But they both shine. We need the moon to know its place. The question is this. What if the grass is actually greener on the other side? We were in a meeting and we decided to address this. Why does everybody think the cure to comparison is saying the grass ain't greedy on the side, but what if it is? No, they actually do have it better. No, they actually killing it. They're diligent. They're focused. They put their hours in. They are making a lot of money. They are experiencing success. Yes. No, they're, they're actually doing exactly what you want to do on that level. That's exactly right. Nope. Oh, no, no, no. What's on their page is actually real. It's not fake. It's like this idea that the cure to comparison is, oh, you know, social media is fake. And, you know, we don't know what's going behind closed doors. Like everybody's justification that helps somebody get through their comparison moment is, well, you don't know what they did to get that. No, but what if they actually just was living right? They were focused and they, they're getting everything they deserve in this season of their life. I should title this message, the grass is greener on the other side. But this is the real cure to comparison. You guys ready? It's in the Bible. The, compare to, the cure to comparison, the Bible says, focus on your own work. If, you, if everybody in this room was to just focus on what you're called to do, where you're called to go, what you're called to create, no more looking to the left, no more looking to the right, no more looking at everybody else. If you just focus on your work, the Bible says you will be satisfied. You will be fulfilled with it. I mean, I, I don't know about y'all, but when you really throw yourself wholeheartedly into any type of work, you don't have time to look to the left or to your right. Race horses wear blinders so they can finish their race to the best of their ability. They don't have time to look to the left or to the right. No, because this horse may be stronger. Yeah, this horse has put in more hours, but guess what? Congratulations. Because deep down, when we're comparing ourselves, when we grow jealous of people, we're basically saying, I love what you do. I just wish it was me. So instead of letting our flesh get to that mode where we try to come against people, talk about people, talk down on people, the cure is focus on your own work. What you'll end up finding is God has created you to do such a specific purpose that you don't even need to compare yourself anymore because what you're doing is so unique to you. And then this idea that if someone else is winning, that means you're not going to win. It's foolishness. And it's such a first world problem. You know what I'm saying? But I think that it's very beautiful if we just celebrate people rather than trying to talk down on their success to justify our inward struggles of comparison. Now, let me say this as I get ready to close because I see the hand. There's a thing on Instagram or all social media, from my understanding, where you can take legitimate mental breaks. You can set a timer. You can mute people. You can unfollow people. You could do whatever you need to do. You could put limits on your usage of social media. I think those are very practical steps to help because when you're scrolling on social media, you don't get to decide when you compare yourself and when you don't. You don't get to decide you know, when you're going to feel all icky on the inside because you feel like you should be in, at someone's vacation. You should be at someone's function. You should be on someone's stage. You should be having this many followers. It's all foolishness. Sometimes it's best that we take breaks because it's not realistic that we be exposed to millions of people's lives every day. So some of us are being way too hard on ourselves. You're not just comparing yourself. You're literally taking in way too much information. That's why sometimes you can feel sick to your stomach and go, oh, I got to get off social media. It's just too much because it is. It literally is too much. And I want to give everybody permission to log out, go for a walk, enjoy yourself, go create Go do something you love. Go chill with the people you love. 